In this video, we'll cover how to apply your infusible ink design to a compatible t-shirt blank using two techniques. First, with a design cut from infusible ink transfer sheets, and the other with a design created from infusible ink pens and markers. For artwork made with transfer sheets, start by placing your weeded design on top of your shirt, ink side facing down. Use a piece of butcher paper to cover your design. Just make sure it's larger than your heat plate. Next, confirm the settings for your project using the heat transfer guide. Now place Cricut Easy Press directly on top of your design and butcher paper. And making sure not to move the machine, start the timer. Use two hands to grip, spread evenly, and there's no need to add any pressure. Just keep the machine in place. Once the beep sounds, just lift the machine straight up. When your design is cool to the touch, remove the butcher paper, then the liner. If there's any piece that shouldn't be there, use tweezers to carefully remove them. Don't use your fingers because you risk transferring ink in places that you probably don't want. That's it. Now let's transfer a design created with pens and markers. Place your design on your shirt ink side down. Secure your design in place using heat resistant tape. Don't skip this step because not taping your design could result in an unwanted ghosting effect. Cover the design with butcher paper, again making sure it's larger than your heat plate. And again, confirm the right settings for your project, this time using infusible ink pens and markers and infusible ink t-shirt as your base. When you're ready, place your Cricut Easy Press directly on top of your design. And again, without moving the machine, start the timer. Same technique here too, two-handed grip, evenly spread, no added pressure. When time's up, lift the machine straight up then let your design cool. And that's when you can remove the butcher paper and the tape down laser paper to reveal your fully infused design. Looks great.